This here is Backwoods Billy coming to the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore, talking about Narragansett, also referred to as Gansett, the autocraft, which I believe has been around since 2013, 30 IBUs, 5% alcohol by volume. That's the Narragansett Autocrat Coffee Milk Stout. Now, in essence, I had to go through a little bit to find out the answer to this because uh, this is something that Ron Gravis from Ron's Beers and Tools sent me in a beer trade. He sent me two of the retro cans, the Narragansett 53 and 1975, the Narragansett Autocrat. By the way, Narragansett is one of the top uh, 50 breweries in, in the United States uh, that's fastest growing. So it's one of the fastest growing breweries. It's rated one of the top 50 breweries in the United States. Um, it's the fastest growing brewery. You know, it, so that says something about it right there. And originally, it's been around since 1890. It was sold, and I believe Foster's had bought it. And what happened is um, they then sold it back to the one of the brewers that had worked there years ago when it was independent. Got a group of investors and brought it back a few years ago. And Narragansett is now independent again. And I know they have a brewery in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, um, and someone else. I told you the location. Um, uh, this one names it Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Um, brewed, brewed by Narragansett Brewery, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Um, I believe that Genesee used to brew their beers for them with through Foster's. Now they brew their own and they're expanding their brewery, so I called and talked to them. Uh, alcohol 5.5%, excuse me, 30 IBUs. So it, says, so it doesn't tell you the IBUs, so I'll look that up. Stout is with coffee flavors added. So the Autocrat, which is something I wasn't familiar with, and when I called Autocrat, you would have thought I was asking for the secrets to build a nuclear bomb, which, by the way, if you're interested, you can go to Harvard's website that will spin you to MIT, and you can do it if you understand the math background, the physics that shows you how to do it. So anyway, they were worried that Narragansett would be mad at them if I told them. I said, I'm not interested in with the ingredients, how they brew their beer. I know how to make a coffee stout. That's not a problem. You can use coffee malts, and you can use a French press. When I said, he said, well, it's a coffee syrup. He said it was a milk fortifier. It's a coffee syrup that's used there. They drink a coffee milk, so it's like it'll be a weak coffee, either cold or warm. Now, I know if you look at Starbucks, you look at Dunkin' Donuts, you look at McDonald's, or anybody that has these coffee drinks that are frozen, they don't use coffee as a machine to do it. What will happen is it will be bitter because of the bean. So, in essence, you do a French press method that removes the bitterness, still gives you the coffee flavoring, and that's how you would flavor your beer when you do a coffee stout. Another way to do it is actually utilize the beans and let, let it sit on the beans, and that wouldn't be, um, you wouldn't have as much bitterness with that either, but it's more efficient to do the French press method. You would do that if you had cocoa in there, but add chocolate in addition to the chocolate malt or instead of. Ta da! So, um, I'm able to try, I've never had this before. Now, I can get the Narragansett lager in this area. It became available in Maryland about a year ago or two years ago. We first moved down here, it was uh, available in the beach area when you go to Virginia beaches, um, Chickatick Island, um, all that because it's really a lot of New Jersey travel there and also the Delaware beaches. A lot of people take the little, what do you call that thing, where a boat rides across the ferry. Sorry. And they even ride the bicycle to do a bicycle to the Delaware brewery. Um, so you can get that, but you can't get anything, any like, I've seen the shanty, the lemon shanty, and the Narragansett Lager, but I haven't seen this. So this is really, I haven't tried this. Um, but this comes under the BJCP style of a sweet style or a dessert style. So it's not going to be just several subsets of style. Follow it with a, get a, a coffee smell right off the bat on this. This is lactose, which does not ferment, and the lactose is going to add the sweetness to the beer. Now, Narragansett, I'll read this right here. When autocrat was started in 1895, founder Franco Field was drawn to the word autocrat, one who rules with undisputed sway. Well, aristocrat, crat kind of means it's like, um, derived from Latin. It was the then their most delicious flagship product, uh, autocrat coffee, got its name throughout the 1900s. Gansett and autocrat were the beverages of choice in New England. We present here our collaboration, or collaborative, coffee milk stout, a flavorful and smooth dark ale that pays homage to our shared heritage um, while celebrating the art of craft brewing. A swallow will tell you. Gansett.com, G-A-N-S-E-T-T.com, high neighbors. So, all that on the back of there. And there's, 
three breweries. I know Rhode Island. I, I don't know. I'll put it in the description box. Just drop it down. I'll tell you what the breweries are. Now, the head kind of dissipated quickly on this. Coffee, chocolate. I get a sweet, dark fruit. On that, and then the lacing seems to be lasting on this very nice. It's very dark. It would be the color if you had made a pot of coffee and then poured it in a glass. This is what you would have. Right on it. Surprisingly, doesn't follow the aroma. I would have thought it had been more coffee forward and more of an espresso type coffee or a heavy coffee, but actually you get the coffee notes, so it's not as heavy on the coffee. You get the coffee notes. You get dark chocolate, it's like a sweet dark chocolate. It's like, it's like, more like a bitter chocolate. You get that type of sweetness to it from the chocolate. Um, and you get like dark fruits to this. And the fruits are very faint. You don't perceive any hops because even though it's a higher IBU, it's a lot of malts in it. So it's kind of balancing out the malts. Very creamy on the mouthfeel. And a slight bit of pepperiness. And I think that must be the hops, although it could be the carbonation, it is well carbonated. A little bit thicker in body than I thought it would be. It's got a very creamy feel to it. You get the sweetness in the lactose. This is awesome. This would pair very well with any dessert, like a chocolate cake. It pair very well with this. You could just sip this by itself and it smoke cigars. It'd do very well instead of doing a brandy or whiskey or something like that, it would do very well. I'd also say that it would pair very well with steak on here. It would pair very well with stews, things of that nature, but I would tend to go sweeter and spicier in the foods as well with this and say that you get away with some duck with this, get away with some pheasant with this. Um, even though it's dark, I would definitely go that route with it if you're fixing it where it's spicy and or sweet. Barbecue chicken would go well with this. I think you'd get away if you went to Taco Bell, like uh, Mexican food would go well with this. This is my opinion. Um, steak would go very well with this. Um, and I think cheese-wise, I would probably stick with like hot cheese. Um, things that I wouldn't stick with uh, an aged cheddar cheese, a regular cheddar. I, I would probably stick more on the hot cheese with this. And also, I think I would stick more barbecue foods or, or steaks would go very, very well with this. This would be, if you had a dessert, you finished dinner and you had a chocolate cake or chocolate ice cream, this would pair very well with this. And I, I wouldn't have a problem putting a scoop of ice cream with this either. I've never had this before, ever. This is no experience to me. Never had the Narragansett Autocrat Milk Stout. Lacing is very, very nice. It sticks right to the glass. Very impressive. I thank Ron Gravis from Ron's Beers and Tools. Um, I sent him... Uh, a couple of beers, and he got the thing, so he should be doing a review soon. He'll be unboxing the beers that I sent him. So, it's a Backwoods Billy. Two thumbs up. I give this two thumbs up. I know that it got in the ratings. I don't know which magazine it was. If it was um, Great Outdoor, they rated it one of the top 20 um, coffee stouts. And I know it's also rated one of the top dessert stouts. Um, so, it's done very well. And they're one of the top... 50 breweries in the United States, fastest growing brewery in the United States. So if you get a chance to grab you a Gansett, I highly recommend it. G-A-N-S-E-T-T dot com. Uh, remember to click like, subscribe to Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews. Check me out on Twitter at Backwoods Billy CBR. Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews are also listed for Google Plus and Backwoods Billy Craft Beer Reviews coming soon to Facebook and Vino. Um, I like it. It's a two thumbs up. If you get a chance, grab it. In the description box, you click it. I'll drop down more information about this with their website. You can click the link to it um, and check them out. I highly advise you do so. 
and a link to Ron as well to back with Billy. Two thumbs up and a quick like, subscribe, and forward it to your friends, guys. Have an awesome day.